Hey, so uh, this is Kiko Simon, and this is Kiki. And uh, Kiki, or Vitamin Kiki, as your YouTube channel is. I mentioned the other day that I was trapped in a car with some friends coming back from camping for 18 hours. We sort of got to know each other. We watched movies and stuff. And Kiki, who has an enormous Instagram channel, has actually just started a YouTube channel. And the content's all bilingual, and it's about traveling, and uh, they're actually going to be like interviewing various foreigners, including me. So uh, yeah, it seemed like uh, I should stop by where Kiki works and uh, we just thought we'd uh, I, I plug the channel a little bit. If you like anything about sort of Japan content and you want to follow someone who's bilingual and kind of cute, you know, like why wouldn't you subscribe? Yeah, my YouTube channel will be about traveling and introducing um, foreigners in Japan and interviewing people in the, in the world because I will be traveling a lot. I will be digital nomad from the end of this month. So I will be covering, I, I will be, it will be a lot of about um, traveling and talking to people. Yeah. This shop is actually super cool. You were just explaining it to me before. So maybe follow us and you can explain about the kapok. Yeah. The reason I work with kapok not is because my brother is a founder and CEO and I'm doing PR and kapok is a really cool material. It naturally grows in Indonesia. It's like this seed. Yeah. And like a seed pot. Yes. Yeah. And inside the kapok seed, there's this um, fiber, which is... Looks like pot. Yeah. It's really cool. But it's uh, one eighth of weight, weight mm. of cotton. Wow. Yeah, and it's so light, so thin, so warm because the, the fiber is hollow. Yeah. So it was impossible to use it for clothing because yeah. it's too light and short. Wow. So it's not impossible to make yarn out of it. So we uh, worked together with a Japanese uh, fabric uh, company and they invented this kapok. Yeah. So in every single kapok coat yeah. that we have here, uh, inside we have this right. So it's really light, uh, warm. And so this is how also it's all sustainable basically, you know, animal yeah. stuff. It's all made out of sort of natural products. So. Yes, exactly. So yeah. we're saying we're plant-based uh, fashion brand. Yeah. So uh, we, we, and we buy the kapok kapok seed and kapok pot directly from Indonesia yeah. so we bring uh, like it's like farm to b to bar kind of concept, concept yeah. Uh, yeah. farm to fashion yeah. our brand name knot is coming from the knot like this this is a very traditional Japanese knot and this particular <laughs> knot is only used uh, for celebrations mm. that, like for example marriage yeah. or uh, something that's really happy and should be happen only once <laughs> yeah, yeah. and so we wanted to make this um, logo because we are Japanese brand going to the world starting this brand like from scratch to the world and we wanted to make it thing yeah 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 cool. <laughs> and right now this is all like the new season clothes right yes. So yeah, I have a thing. I can never buy clothes in Japan because my arms are ridiculously long. Like I, I used to hang from monkey bars too much as a kid. So I don't even try jackets, but I just tried a jacket and it looks actually really good and I'm possibly about to get it. So I'm going to try it on and show anyway. This actually... Ta-da! That actually looks really cool. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, this is, in, uh, this is just north of Shibuya Station. It's in Miyashita Park. Park. And uh, you can find couple of knots. It's really cool if you're interested. But more than that, check out Kiki's channel and say uh, Hiko sent you in the comments and uh, support a new YouTuber. <laughs> <Peace. laughs>